the first thing that we want to do is get rid of any personal pictures. And I know that sometimes people might think that that would make their house feel a little bit sterile, but really, when you're walking through and you're looking at a house, you want to see the house, not the pictures of the people. Because if you look up, you're looking and you're probably thinking, do I know those people? And that's what we don't want. So we're going to take all of those down. Now that we're going to take down all of our pictures, the other thing that we have to do to depersonalize is to take down some of our sports memorabilia. Even though we may love the Badgers, our buyers may not love the Badgers. They may see it and think, oh, they're Badgers fans. And you're thinking, nobody would ever do that. But yes, I have been on showings and people walk in and they say, oh, they're such and such a fan. I can't buy this house. It's a thing. Okay. Number two is declutter. So what we need to do is remove all of the extra things from our space. So when we have our photographer comes in, his camera is gonna pick up every little thing. We actually call it photo dandruff. So clearing things off as much as we possibly can will make it so that the viewer of the photo's eye isn't seeing all of those things, they're seeing the room. And that's what we want. Another tip for staging is that we need to take any extra furniture out of the room. So this chair is going to go. Alright, now we've gotten the room totally depersonalized and totally decluttered. So what's next? We have to move the furniture so it accents the room, makes it feel as big as possible, and we have to do some cleaning. and we have the whole room cleaned out and cleaned up, we can go ahead and start adding in a little bit of staging furniture and things like that to make it feel a little warmer and a little bit lived in. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. So let's do a recap. First, the first thing we need to do for staging is depersonalize it. We got rid of all those personal pictures, all that sports memorabilia. Number two is to go ahead and declutter. We cleaned up all the extra remotes, all that kind of stuff. And then number three is to just really do a nice clean of the room, get the furniture in the best spot so the room looks the biggest. Then we put in a few items just to warm up the space and usually we can just walk around your house and find items in different rooms so don't think you have to go out and buy a ton of stuff because you really don't the items that we can find in your home you would be surprised so thanks again for joining us this is the second video of our three-part series of listing your home right we're excited to see you back for our third edition which is going to be coming up soon so please if you have any questions put it in the comments below Follow us, like us, we'll see you soon.